And just a little more, and she'll... Uh. <laughs> Surprise! Yet, what? <coughs> What's happening, Luby? Oh my god! Huh? No, no, it wasn't me! Eh? Enough, Luby. Lock her up in the warehouse and wait for trial. What happened to the Kingdom of yeah. Cosmetics? Just a few days ago, everything was normal, wasn't it? Maria is a rare fairy of makeup in the world. She has the ability to transform her makeup wardrobe into a magnificent kingdom, where each cosmetic becomes a fairy and lives harmoniously together. Hello everyone, is everything going well? Haha, <laughs> be careful now. Focus everyone, I have an announcement to make. Huh? Where is Luby? Luby is late again, isn't she? Excuse me, ma'am. Let me go call her. Huh? <laughs> Luby is a beautiful and arrogant <laughs> lipstick cherished most by the queen of this kingdom. Goodness, does she even know what tardness is? Keep your voice down! Aren't you afraid of offending Luby? It's all because the mistress spoils her too much. Luby gets to accompany Mistress Maria on all those long journeys, the most luxurious feasts. Look at the treatment Luby receives! None of us can compare! <laughs> huh? What laziness is that again? Come on, Luby, don't get angry. Mm -hmm. The mistress is calling us. Let's go quickly. Just take it easy. Maria won't scold me anyway. Hmm. Look at her. Huh? If only her character were half as good as Brushy's. But Luby couldn't believe it. This time, the news Maria announced was so terrible for her. Oh my, so beautiful. Even more beautiful than Luby. Of course, Luby was extremely uncomfortable with this. In the following days, the balance of Maria's favoritism began to shift. All the privileges Luby enjoyed, Bahim began to enjoy as well. On the other hand, Bahim didn't appreciate her heavyweight rival either. Climax was at Bahim's welcoming party, where the two leading fairies officially declared war. Who do you think you are, a leader? Oh, come on, then let's compete for this position by seeing who deserves to accompany the mistress to the makeup contest in Milan coming up. Come on, everyone. When you lose, don't cry and change your mind. <sighs> Luby's competitive spirit surged huh? within her. She tirelessly brainstormed day and night to strategize for victory. Thanks, Brushy! Because of you, I've concocted a lipstick even more fragrant than Little Bohem. Oh, it's nothing, Luby. Helping you makes me very happy. Everything Luby did pleased Maria greatly. However, huh? her opponent, Bahim, was no less formidable. The fragrancy she concocted <laughs> just needed a wave of her hand to immerse the entire kingdom in a sweet, intoxicating <laughs> aroma. The final result was unexpected for both fairies. This year, the one who will accompany me to Milan is... Everyone! Huh? What? what? Representatives of the kingdom would accompany Maria to Milan, and both Luby and Bohem would be pioneering leaders. Of course, Luby wasn't pleased. Co-leader? With that annoying little brat? Ugh! Come on, getting angry won't change anything. 
Someone left a letter for you. I saw it outside the door. Planning to eliminate the competition? Oh, come on. How ridiculous. Huh? Oh, my. Harbohim? That's not a good idea. But are you sure you don't want to do this? You really dislike her, don't you? Listen, I'll never use such foolish tricks to harm others. However, somehow, <laughs> everything still unfolded as we saw at the beginning of the story. Doesn't anyone believe me? Who would have thought there'd be a day when our tough Luby also knows how to cry? Why are you here? I I didn't. No need to explain. I couldn't make it to Milan due to injury. Plus, we need to investigate the real culprit. Do you believe me? We're all same kind of people. We don't play those petty tricks. And look at this. This doesn't belong to you. I snatch it from the culprit before being knocked down. All right. First, we need to thoroughly investigate huh? if there are any clues mm -hmm. left. Then something caught their eyes, leaving them stunned. Is that mold? It stretches along the path Maria walked. Thinking of the danger their mistress might face, both of them forgot personal grudges. They decided to rush to Milan at all costs to warn her. Even though there was another alternative route, it would have to overcome countless obstacles and traps to get there. Feeling discouraged for a moment, Luby and Bahim set off together. They passed through the majestic and treacherous Lipstick Forest. Be careful! Uh, thank you. <laughs> No worries. I'm more familiar with this terrain. Let's go. However, when passing through the Valley of Intoxicating Fragrances, Bahim also used her special power to help Luby in return. That's how they became best friends. Although both were stubborn and didn't say it out loud, their hearts had acknowledged it. At last, they emerged from the gate and arrived in Milan. Unfortunately, Maria wasn't huh? present in the waiting room. What are you guys doing here? Listen, Brushy, we need to inform Maria that there's a mold huh? outbreak and it followed her here. Mold? Oh my, you guys must be tired. Rest here. I'll go inform Maria right away. She's already on stage. Hold on, there's something. Look here, it's exactly the same as on Brushy's dress. It means the one who harmed you and blamed me is... Oh no! The truth revealed. The two girls needed to figure out a way to stop Brushy's plot. <laughs> they sneaked into the makeup preparation area for the contestants and hid in the makeup case's drawer. It was time to go on stage, and Brushy became Maria's assistant. As the makeup was thoroughly inspected, no one touched it. So, if anyone wants to intervene, it can only be through the assistant by her side. Time starts now! With just a flick from Brushy, all the makeup in Maria's makeup case was ruined! <gasps> oh no, it's ruined! What should I do? Everything! Everything's ruined! Everything went according to plan, and Brushy rejoiced in her accomplishment with her new mistress. <laughs> I'm sorry. It seems today I can't do your makeup. Mistress, don't give up! Huh? Luby and Bohem too. What are you guys doing here? 
Time's almost <gasps> up. The last 15 minutes. Hurry up, mistress. We're still here for you. Don't give up. Only lipstick and perfume? How can... Mistress, you can do it! Just relax and remember your goal when you started. The initial goal? You're right. I don't do makeup to win. I want to make others beautiful. Oh, and the tools aren't complete. <laughs> Maria rallied and rushed back to race against time. Let's see. Lipstick can replace eyeshadow, blush, as long as the technique is right. And it won't be complete if it's missing natural fragrance. Both the judges and the contestants were astonished by the unprecedentedly <laughs> beautiful scene. Hehe, <laughs> I concocted a fragrance that suits her best. <laughs> oh my goodness, she's so beautiful. I want Maria to do my makeup too. Me too! Me too! <laughs> Get away from me, you filthy rats! <laughs> Earlier, I secretly sprayed a bit of honey-scented fragrance to attract the bees to her. <laughs> Serves her right, haha! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, all of you. It's thanks to you that I received this award. No, it's thanks to the talent of our mistress. Luby, I'm sorry for misunderstanding you. It's in the past. Now we need to quickly return to the kingdom to huh? heal the makeup spirits. Hmm. Meanwhile, the traitor Brushy. She was also discarded without mercy by her new mistress, the one who bribed her to do evil deeds. Get away from me, you filthy dog! Ah! I'll definitely get my revenge. Just wait and see. In the vault. Only screams envelop the end. Yeah. <gasps> Gods, please save us. But no miracle appeared. <laughs> <gasps> Father! Mother! <laughs> hmm? Enjoy your reunion. Evil one, please save me. Suddenly time seemed to freeze. <laughs> Everything stood still, except for Elsie. Did you summon me? For something else. I cannot resurrect the dead. No! I mean Raven! Destroy him! She doesn't want to hmm. save herself, but seeks revenge. Then sign the contract. Once I fulfill it, you will have to go to hell. Think about it. Hmm. <laughs> With a flick of the demon's <laughs> finger, everything returned to normal. What happened? Who are you? I am the one who will take your life. Good thing I'm quick on my feet. Hey, what's his name? My magic didn't work on him. With no other choice, Belial had to give Elsie a bit of a spirit energy to recover. You fool of a demon! So that contract was just to cover your incompetence? What? You dare to belittle me? Ooh. <laughs> Is this all you can do? I should have destroyed Raven myself! <gasps> Tell me, 
everything about Raven. Since I was born, the king and queen had to go through countless battles with invaders to maintain their throne. <laughs> But the enemy within was worse than the external foe. The sorcerer Raven, who offered counsel to my father, was secretly building his own powerful <laughs> army. Then, he waited for the right moment to attack the kingdom. He destroyed my parents and wanted to destroy me so there would be no heir. The demon, suddenly less enthusiastic, seemed to feel pity for Elsie's unfortunate fate. Tomorrow, that wicked man will pay. Mm. Your Majesty, today, a demon spoiled my plans. Please, help me get justice. A demon? After Raven described the demon's appearance, Felix only laughed maliciously. <laughs> the next morning, when Belial woke up, Elsie was nowhere to be found. Only a crumbled piece of paper remained. I will avenge myself! Raven, I must find you! Elsie realized she was standing at the edge of an abyss. She clenched her fists, closed her eyes as if waiting for salvation. Goodbye. Once again, Lil appeared just in time. Why did you save me? Why not let me go be with my parents? Without them, what's the point of living? Queen used their lives to protect you. Your peace and happiness are what they desired. It turns out even this troublesome demon could make Elsie feel so soothed. <laughs> Ouch! My hand! It's on fire again! Why is that? This means Raven is still not dead. We need to find another contract. Otherwise, I'll have to return to hell. In their panic, they encountered a group of hunters preparing to steal a precious tree. Here it is! Ah! Wait! I just need to snap my fingers and this tree will fall. You don't have to exert yourselves. <laughs> Just sign this contract. You'll see. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Watch this. Oh, oh, it's falling for real. <laughs> Why are you so cruel to them? That's the price of greed. Right. After the contract is completed, I do have to go to hell like them. Suddenly, a smoke <coughs> bomb flew in, <coughs> blinding <coughs> everything. And Elsie disappeared. Elsie? Elsie? Sure, that demon will surely come to us soon. As soon as he finished speaking, the Leal appeared. You are Felix! <laughs> yes, it's me. Long time no see. Oh! Looking back, Felix was an enemy who had been defeated by the Leal after a battle broke out in the demon world.
by chance, Raven discovered him and driven by greed, he decided to steal valuable items from Felix. Just save me, you'll become immortal. Eventually, Raven agreed to use his own blood to help Felix resurrect. <laughs> the blood dead of the past now must be paid. Neil <laughs> <laughs> could not withstand <laughs> Felix's devastating <laughs> attacks. <laughs> And there's nothing I'll regret if I don't tell you. I love you. <gasps> the seemingly emotional, cold hearted Belial actually has so much affection for Elsie. Felix, it's all because of you. <clears throat> <sighs> After Elsie's departure, the League decided not to sign any more contracts. Wait for me, Elsie. Elsie in Hell, she became a secretary, recording the names of those who descended into Hell. Next person! <gasps> Delilah! Am I dreaming? The two reunited in immeasurable happiness. Now on Mysterious events often commence beneath the shimmering moonlight, and tonight is no exception. The air was dense, as if swallowed by a looming darkness. Before Carmi's chilling scream tore through the night. Ah! Is it a nightmare? The morning after, that was meant to be a momentous occasion. Hi. <laughs> Kami, are you alright? Are you feeling unwell? I don't know. I just feel completely drained of energy. Oh. Pre-birthday syndrome, perhaps. How strange. Things started to look up. <laughs> <laughs> when the well-wishers from their friends poured in. They were the ones Carmi had always supported throughout the years. Ooh, hey, huh? Kebby, can you help me with this? Ooh. Their friendship had endured for 15 years, ever since the day Carmi Ooh. was adopted <laughs> into Kebby's family as a child. <laughs> Apart from Carmi's birthday, there was another significant <laughs> event today. 
This is Alan Helsing, a new friend in our community. Please help him, everyone. Alan, you can sit. Oh, next to Carmi. Hi, I'm Carmi. <laughs> Alan's peculiar gaze sent Carmi's mind reeling. Excuse me, teacher. May I step outside? <gasps> What's up with him? <laughs> Looking back, Carmi's face and eyes appeared perfectly normal. Teacher! Maybe the teacher was right. I must be sleep deprived. <laughs> Carmi, furious and disregarding the danger, rushed forward to intervene. Ah, oh, this kid's time to live in, huh? Strangely, his punch did nothing to the petite girl. In fact, Carmi easily blocked and knocked him down. You! You! How can this be? Hmm. The teacher is here! After dealing with the ruffian, <laughs> Carmi once again found herself surrounded by praise from the crowd. However, Alan's eyes remained concealed within the gathering, still observing unusually. That evening, after enjoying a hearty dinner prepared by Kebby's mother, Carmi and Kebby huh? mischievously <gasps> slipped away to celebrate their own birthday. Hey! <gasps> This was a yearly tradition for the two. <laughs> Happy birthday, Carmi! Happy birthday, Carmi! Who? Who said that? <gasps> What's going on? I don't hear anything. <gasps> it came from the edge of the woods. Can't you hear it? Huh? Mm hmm? Hmm. <gasps> to prove her point, Carmi firmly led Kebby to investigate the source. Suddenly, a flock of bats appeared, behaving strangely. Can't you see? They're talking! Carmi explained to Kebby about the huh? peculiar events of the day. I'm sorry, Carmi, but this is really weird. Ooh. Do you see that tree huh? branch? I feel like I could easily climb up there. Impossible! Whoa! Carmi, where are you? <gasps> I'm right here! <laughs> <gasps> you, you, you're amazing! You know, Kami, you kind of seem, um, like a vampire. <gasps> a vampire? Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> they quickly found more information about these species <gasps> in one of Kebby's ancient hmm. books. mentioned that vampires possess terrifying strength, unmatched speed, and the ability to communicate with bats and mesmerize others. <gasps> when they're strong enough, they can <laughs> even transform into bats! Yay! <laughs> Too noisy! Huh? It's time to go to bed! <laughs> this is our secret! Mm. However, Things weren't as straightforward as they seemed. A few <sighs> days later, when Kebby accidentally <gasps> fell. <gasps> 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 
The scent of fresh blood filled Carmi's nostrils, leaving her in a state of emptiness. Carmi? When things returned to normal, Carmi panicked and fled, fearing she might unintentionally harm those around her. All of this was observed through the eyes of Alan, the lurking threat nearby. Since that day, Carmi did everything she could to avoid meeting people. Carmi? Hmm. Stay away from me, Kebby. I might hurt you. Huh? Let me in. We're friends. You'd never harm me. Huh? <gasps> Kebby's sincere words of encouragement <sighs> helped Carmi huh? overcome her apprehension. <gasps> Both of them ventured into the woods to explore Carmi's newfound abilities. As her fears receded, they discovered that Carmi's abilities could provide wonderful experiences <laughs> akin to those found in fairy tales. <laughs> Never before had they enjoyed themselves to such an extent. <laughs> On the way back, Carmi playfully teased Kebby. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, Kebby! <laughs> but someone didn't see it that way. The owner of that knife was Alan. <laughs> Alan, what's going on? Get away from that vampire. How do you know? Why, of course. I came from a proud and noble lineage of vampire hunters. That's how. And today, you will be the first prey to continue my family's tradition. <laughs> Alan? There must be some misunderstanding here. No misunderstandings at all. Watch this. Carmi's body immediately responded, helping her evade Alan's precise attacks. While she possessed the powers of a vampire, she struggled to use them effectively, and it was no easy feat to escape. This doesn't look good. Carmi's losing. Aside from direct combat, Alan swiftly set up traps to subdue Carmi. Carmi, be careful! As predicted, Carmi grew weaker. Carmi, run! Alan, unexpected, who was just moments ago his prey, now turned into his savior. Once Carmi saved Alan, she wasted no time. But difficulties don't dissipate so easily. The sword was plunged into the ground, a resolute act by its owner. Thank you, but why did you do that? You're probably not as bad as I thought. Nevertheless, don't celebrate just yet. I'll be keeping an eye on you everywhere. Oh. If you know any unusual signs, I'll... Oh, come on. That's not going to happen. I guarantee <laughs> it. <laughs> hmm? So in short, why did you become a vampire, Kami? Strangely, there were no bite marks on her body, which indicated that Carmi had not been bitten. As they pondered this perplexing situation, a tall, dark figure appeared. Vintage attire? Well, features like in the books. He's a vampire. Ha ha ha! Hello, my daughter, Carmi! 